Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be talking about Voltron Legendary Defender Season 3, which just came out on Netflix today, August the 4th. And let me tell you, it was only a seven episode season. However, Season 4 will be coming back in October. I cannot wait. This season we got Lotor joined uh, the, the cast of characters. Uh, we got to see the first episode, first two episodes, I'm sorry, dealt with the team trying to find Shiro and also trying to replace him. We got to see Keith finally take on as the paladin and leader of the Black Lion. We then got to see kind of a revamp of the original series where Lance became the pilot of the Red Lion and Allura becoming the pilot of the Blue Lion. We finally get Shiro back after several adventures and the Black Lion rejects him. We also get to see Sven, which was an alternate reality version of Shiro. That's right, the Paladins went to another reality and they met an alternate reality version of Shiro, which turned out to be Sven from the original Voltron series back in the 80s. And you could tell it was Sven right off the bat. The haircut was right. He had the style, the white uh, kind of design on his black shirt or armor, whatever you want to call it. And so you knew right away it, was, it wasn't it was Shiro like the Paladins thought. It was Sven. He even talked like Sven. Also, what we get to see is the person who helped Keith last season. It wasn't Lotor as many suspected. It was actually one of Lotor's commanders, which he has, I believe, four or five uh, lieutenants or commanders, whatever you want to call them, that are basically his his guard. Kind of like the opposite, the negative verse Voltron Force, I guess you'd call it. We get to see Keith become the leader of, Vol of the Voltron Paladins, and we... He's he's very green when it comes to leading the team. He has his mind set on one thing and one thing only. That's finding Shiro. But he does start to come into his own towards the end of the season. Finally, with season three, we get to see in the last episode, episode seven, we get to see how Voltron was created. We get to see what happened to Zarkon to turn him evil. We get to see the birth of Hagar. We get to see what caused the creation of the Galra Empire to be what it is today. We got to see the destruction of Zarkon's planet. We got to see why he has become so obsessed with conquering the universe and gaining control of Voltron. We got to see him and Alfor as friends working together. It was an amazing season. I highly recommend it. You guys really have to watch it. If you haven't watched it yet, like I said, it's only seven episodes. Each episode is about half an hour. Check it out on Netflix. It's available now, August 4th, 2017, on Netflix. Check it out. And season four will return in October. So take care, guys. Hey guys, Shannon here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share these videos with your family and friends. Because every time you do, you protect the memory of lesser known heroes from the golden age and beyond.